I presented a European phase 2 trial um, for pomalidomide in combination with low dose dexamethasone in patients with relapse and refractory multiple myeloma and renal impairment. So this trial was conducted all over Europe and included uh, relapsed myeloma patients after one treatment line um, who were previously exposed to lenalidomide and who had a, a creatinine clearance below 45 because 45 ml per minute was the um, border where patients could be included in the approval trial. So we had three cohorts in this trial, patients with a creatinine clearance from 45 to 30, uh, 30 and below without dialysis and 14 patients were also included in cohort C um, on hemodialysis. So um, uh, I presented yesterday a safety analysis. This was conducted after 81 patients had entered uh, the trial and were treated. Um, in total, there were 91 patients included. Um, the uh, trial now has full recruited and we will expect the trial results regarding response rate and survival data next year. So uh, what we saw in the safety analysis was that um, patients, they all started with 4 mg pomalidomide and 40 mg dexamethasone weekly, pomalidomide day 1 to 21 with a one week rest. And uh, patients who were older than 75 years, they had half the dose of dexamethasone. So what we saw in the safety analysis was that all patients started with 4 milligram, uh, that we had a relative dose intensity in all three cohorts of 0.9 to 1.0, so that patients nearly all received um, the starting dose and continued on that. And um, we had a heavily pretreated patient population with a median of uh, four prior treatment lines. Um, also, patients on hemodialysis had a relative dose intensity of 1.0. So, regarding the um, safety analysis, we saw that we saw the expected toxicity. We know very well from pomalidomide in combination with low dose dexamethasone. So about half of the patients had a neutropenia grade a three or four, so below a thousand neutrophils per microliter. And about one quarter of the patients had a, a grade three or four thrombocytopenia. And uh, the most common non-hematologic toxicity were infections um, and pneumonia, so accounting to uh, about 30% of patients. However, there was no clear signal um, regarding increased toxicity if the patients had a more severe renal impairment, so the cohorts with the um, severe renal impairment and the patients under hemodialysis had not a significantly more uh, toxicities. Um, so that was somehow expected because pomalidomide is not excreted renally but hepatically metabolized but um, it is, was now the proof that the pomalidomide dexamethasone regimen can be safely administered also to patients with all grade of renal impairment and also on hemodialysis so we do not recommend a primary dose reduction. Patients should also start on the four milligram pomalidomide dose. And there are no new toxicities we saw or unexpected toxicities in this um, renally impaired patient population. So we hopefully will see next year the data on response and uh, survival um, and um, We'll present them next year on the conventions.